Hello YouTube. We exist, as far as we know, in an infinite universe. But we know very little about our universe. And we continuously learn something new. And we also learn how limited is our understanding of celestial mechanics. Take, for example, the case of missing stars. A supermassive star located in the Kinman Dwarf Galaxy, PHL 293b, has disappeared somewhere. A supermassive star is a star with a mass exceeding about 50 times that of the Sun. So, this distant galaxy, 75 million light years away, is visible in the constellation Aquarius. But without that star, which has long been observed by Andrew Allen from School of Physics of the College of Holy Trinity in Dublin, Ireland, and his colleagues from the European um, Observatory, they reported the loss, giving details in the magazine Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. The missing star, the so-called luminous blue variable, was very bright. 3 million times brighter than the Sun. It was at least 100 times more massive than the Sun. Therefore, it was visible in the optical telescopes from an enormous distance. Such bright and powerful stars are very rare in the universe, as far as we know. Astronomers are very much interested in such stars. European Southern Observatory scientists were also interested in such stars. They knew for sure that from 2001 to the year 2011, the blue giant was in place. It was shining as it should. The need to look at the amazing star again occurred in August 2019. The scientists looked, but they didn't see the star. So they took a closer look, pointing the very large telescope at the dwarf galaxy. That did not help. The star was not there. Astronomers turned to archival images taken between 2011 and 2016, including those taken by the Hubble Orbiting Telescope, and determined that the luminous blue variable star disappeared from Kinman Galaxy in the year 2011. But where did it go? Alan and his colleagues are still are at loss and they do not rule out that something unprecedented happened. A giant star, one of the brightest in the universe, turned into a black hole, and that it was done instantaneously. It collapsed, but did not explode before that, becoming a supernova first, as stars of this type should do. According to Alan, if the star actually turned into a black hole directly, then we are the first to witness such a phenomenon. After all, usually the life of giant stars ends differently by supernova explosions. Another option is possible that star, the star still exploded, but it was blocked by the resulting cloud of dust. However, in this case, some kind of glow <coughs> still would have to remain, but the astronomers cannot see it. Therefore, a fantastic scenario is considered more likely, a direct transformation of star into a black hole. It may be possible to understand how it were an entire star disappeared for the, from the galaxy, but that will be in the year 2025 when the European Southern Observatory launches the extremely large telescope, powerful enough to observe individual stars in distant galactic clusters. See, we are accustomed to considering the starry sky as something fundamental, and if there are processes taking place in it, most of them, in comparison with the duration of human life, undoubtedly take longer. Even in the school textbooks of astronomy, as an example, a picture was given of the location of the stars of the constellation Ursa Major 50,000 years ago in modern times and what it would be like in 50,000 years from now. So in this example, the change um, in the relative position of the stars uh, because of their movement over such a long time was or would be very insignificant. Currently, all celestial objects 
at least up to 10th magnitude stars are counted and entered in star catalogs. The brightness of stars are specified with the magnitude system. One of the most fundamental properties of a star is its brightness. Astronomers measure stellar brightness in units called magnitudes. Over the past few hundred years, astronomers have built up a vast literature of catalogs and measurements in the magnitude system. Now, the history you know, of study of starry sky has quite many documented cases of disappearances of already discovered stars or previously discovered stars. Just two examples. For example, in 1992, uh, the media reported that astronomers from Valparaiso uh, identified and documented the loss of 73 celestial objects. And in 2016, a team of researchers in Sweden noticed that a star visible in an image from 1950 was no longer visible. Astronomers have started looking at other images from the last century and they have found more missing stars, about 100 of them. No one can say exactly when these disappearances began, but there is a tendency to bring this process closer to the solar system, which cannot but cause concern among uh, humankind. Even in ancient times, many people of the world have leg had legends about the loss of stars or missing stars. For example, in ancient Greece there was a myth about the de disappearance of the seventh star from the uh, star cluster Pleiades. The seven sisters, as they were known to the ancient Greeks, uh, are now known to modern astronomers as the Pleiades star cluster, a set of stars which are visible to the naked eye and have been studied for thousands of years by cultures all over the world. Regardless of the Greeks, a similar myth existed uh, among the North American Indians and the peoples of Central Asia. Also, the Book of the Shapes of Stars is an astronomical text written by Abd el Rahman al Sufi around 964 AD. The Book of the Shapes of Stars comprises an important organization and revision of classical knowledge from antiquity, the first of its kind, and some of the earliest surviving examples of visual documentation of celestial bodies observable by the naked eye. The work remained highly influ influential, functioning as the standard text on Arabic astronomy to be consulted in all Islamic territories and faithfully copied for many centuries after its production. And the first established and documented by the Arab astronomer al-Sufi in the 10th century was the fact of the disappearance of 21 stars of the Leo constellation, no brighter than the fifth magnitude star. Think about it, 10th century, they already knew about disappearances of stars. Famous French astronomer Camille Flammarion, after studying this fact, concluded that it cannot be doubted. Um, also, Sufi noticed the disappearance of the 30th star of the Cent Centaurus constellation, marked by Ptolemy as a third magnitude star. Already in the 15th century, the Samarkand astronomer Ulugbek, checking the catalog of al-Sufi, found the absence of eight stars including in it. And that was in Central Asia. During the reign of Uluq Bek, Samarkand became one of the centers of science. Uluq Bek showed himself as a talented researcher in astronomy and mathematical sciences, geometry, uh, to genometry, well acquainted with the uh, works of his predecessors. The result of his scientific works is the so-called new astronomical tables containing a presentation of the theoretical foundations of astronomy and coordinates of more than 1,000 stars. The tables became widely known in Europe, published in England, in Oxford in 1665, and they were known in India and China. And he was also concerned with missing stars back in the 15th century. 
Later, analyzing the British catalog of the director of the Greenwich Observatory, John Flamsteed, and also special research journals, William Herschel found out uh, that at the end of the 17th century, John Flamsteed discovered the fifth magnitude star in the constellation Hercules and cataloged it as number 55. Herschel observed this star in 1781 and 1782, but in 1791, when the most careful examination of this section of the sky took place, the star was not found and no one else observed it. And even in the Simbad astronomical database, there is no mention of it. And by the way, back in 2015, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute was investigating a possible extraterrestrial signal originating from 6.3 billion year old star located 95 light years away from Earth in the constellation Hercules. It was first detected in May 2015 with the Ratan 600 radio telescope in Zelenchuska, Russia. And Paul Gilster of the Tau Zero Foundation, which conducts interstellar research, said that if the signal was artificial, its strength suggested that it would have to come from a civilization more advanced than our. Such a civilization would likely be a Type II on the Kardashev scale. It was an attempt by the Soviet astronomer of the same name to categorize various technological stages of civilizations. So, remember this constellation. But let's keep looking for the missing stars. Already in the 19th century, with the development of astronomical instruments, the facts of the disappearance of stars began to be stated more and more often. Studying the extensive catalog Star Review in the 20th century, German astronomers Zimmer and Himpel, out of 325,037 stars included in it, 79 units were not counted, which could not be count, which could not be found. Studying other sources, Zimmer has already established a shortage of 477 stars. Himpel carefully checked 75 disappeared stars from this number. Variable stars were found in 40% of the cases near the location of the missing star, and the bright stars were found in 20% of the cases. The disappearance of the remaining 40% could not be explained. Now, a reference catalog and atlas of galactic nova uh, by Gen German astronomer Hilmar Durbeck, published in 1987, also draws attention to reliable and recognized cases of the disappearance of celestial objects, included in the Bonn Review of uh, the year 1853. Hilmar Durbeck was a member of several international organizations and commissions, among which the International Astronomical Union, Commission 42, Closed Binary Stars, and the American Astronomical Society. Their behavior bears little resistance to the outburst of new stars, which usually last several uh, tens of days dozens of days. Thus, an object um, discovered on January 22, 1854 as a star of 9.5 magnitude and cataloged as U Leo was observed for more than a year, but by mid-March by mid 1855 it had already disappeared. At the site of the missing star, now a star of the 14 magnitude is observed. Okay? The star CZ Per from the same catalog was discovered and classified as a 9.5 magnitude object on November 30th, 1853. After that, it was observed in 1853, 1865, and photographed in 1894. Photos taken later showed a 16.5 magnitude object at this location, which is not similar to the behavior of a new star. The star and try, according to the classification of the Bonn Review, was discovered on September 30th, 1853, as an object of 9.5 magnitude, and was observed three years later, 
in 1856. In the 1904 images, nothing was found at the site of the missing star. The Card du Ciel project, designated um, uh, this astrographic program in English, was launched by an International Congress of Astronomers in Paris in 1887 with the aim of constructing a photographic map of the sky and of compiling by means of photography a catalog of more than two million stars. Astrographic catalog created by astronomers from different countries during the 1892-1940 period as part of the photographic map of the sky project and published after modern computer processing in 1997 contains data on the brightness and coordinates of 4,621,836 stars. After comparing this data with the data from the Hipparchus satellite's electronic sky scan during the years 1989 to 1993, the corresponding computer program found that 177 stars were missing from the stars uh, brighter than ninth magnitude. After a thorough individual check, 56 stars were found to be somewhat displaced, apparently because of their motion, their own motion. The loss of 121 stars remained unexplained. 121 stars. Neither are these objects in the star catalog of the Astrophysical Observatory in 1966 and in the general catalog of variable stars from the year 2000. It is unlikely that this can be attributed to defects in the film and the overlap of the star by an asteroid, since the images were taken repeatedly, two to five times. Computer analysis has shown that the loss tends to point to the equator of the galaxy, not to the ecliptic. Uh, where the concentration of asteroid is, asteroids is higher. In modern times, there are stars that dramatically change their luminosity before our eyes. One of these was described in 1998 by astrophysicists Kearns and Erbst. They found a red star of the 16th magnitude in the star cluster NGC 2264. NGC 2264 is sometimes referred to as the Christmas tree cluster and the cone nebula. However, the designation NGC 2264 and the new general catalog refers to both objects and not the cluster alone. This red star are abruptly weakens its luminosity by 25 times every 48 days. And this decrease in luminosity lasts exactly half of the period, that is 24 days. This star flickered like a beacon. The curve of its brightness resembled rectangular pulses. After studying the archives and continuing their observations, astronomers were more and more surprised. It turned out that this eclipse started relatively recently, around the year 1960. Since then, the duration of the eclipse and its depth have been increasing. If between the years 1967-1982 luminosity of the star during the period changed some, somewhere twice, by the end of the century this value was 25 times. The phase shift of the radiation also occurs. As the years went by, the star spent more and more time off such that by the year 2010 it was uh, always in the faint state, although still periodically variable. In 2012 it unexpectedly became, began to wink on and off again, and has now entered a phase where its on state is almost twice as bright as it was in the mid-1990s. A group of American astronomers in 2004 created a model of the process that explains this abnormal behavior of the star. They proved that this could happen if two stars with masses of 60% and 36% of the mass of the Sun revolve around a common center of mass um, in inclined and highly elongated orbits with a period of 48.35 days. 
All this is covered by opaque screen with sharp and straight edge. The size of the screen is about 60 million kilometers and the speed of coverage is 13 meters per second. When two stars look out from behind the edge of this flap, the glow is maximum and conversely, when both are covered by the screen, only the reflected light is visible. Of course, as a screen, astronomers can only assume natural causes. Gas and dust nebula or dust ring segment circling, circling around the stars. However, gas dust nebula and dust rings do not have such sharp boundaries as the model built by astronomers suggest. Of course, the mystery of the vanished stars requires careful study. There are several hypotheses, including very exotic ones, that try to explain this phenomenon. German astronomer Zimmer suggested that this is the fading of flare stars. A flare star is a variable star that can undergo unpredictable dramatic increase in brightness for a few minutes. It is believed that the flares and flare stars are analogous to solar flares in that they are due to the magnetic energy stored in the star's atmospheres. This phenomenon is known to astrophysicists, but the outbursts of new stars do not last more than a few months. Well, the 55th star of the constellation Hercules disappeared before the eyes of Herschel, who was watching it, although it was regularly observed by astronomers for a century after the description of it by Flamsteed and Himpel, for all his skepticism about the disappearance or the loss of the star, could not explain the variable disappearance of 40% established by Zimmer of those stars. In the files of the General Catalog of Variable Stars, there is even a category titled non-existent. For some reason, astronomers do not have a great desire to deal with this problem. So, for example, the astrometric satellite Hipparchus did not find 6,663 stars included in the uh, Tycho catalog. It provides uh, astrometry, positions, parallaxes, and proper motions, and two color uh, photometry more than, for more than one million stars brighter than 11.5 magnitude. But only 46 cases of the stars, disappearing stars, were investigated and explained. That is, altogether, 99.3% of star disappearances remain a mystery. Anything could have happened to them. Things that even the wildest hypothesis cannot explain. These areas where the stars disappear from could be an excellent place to go looking for extraterrestrial intelligence, sentient life. It stands to reason that if there is no natural process by which a star can vanish, there must be an artificial one. If we assume that the universe is inhabited by intelligent beings like us, then why not assume that other civilizations like us do not necessarily have to live in peace? And since the age of many civilizations can significantly exceed the age of the Earth, the scale of conflicts between them may be incommensurable with the terrestrial experience. Recently, astronomers have observed a lot of strange things. This includes the above-mentioned disappearance of stars, strange flashes and rays. The trouble is that until the existence of other intelligences is proven, science considers these questions only from the point of view of the uninhabitability of the universe. What if we are watching galactic warfare? Modern equipment can detect flashes of lasers in deep space. The power, f power which is 1%, uh, I guess, contained in the uh, combat lasers of uh, Russia or the Pentagon, uh, the astronomical literature describes many mysterious flashes observed in some stars, which can literally last seconds and cannot be explained in any way. 
Some of them are even photographed. And it is quite possible to assume that some of the disappeared or vanished stars are victims of the struggle of cosmic super civilizations. But also, maybe uh, this is the effect of celestial super construction on unimaginable scale by beings of inexplicable intelligence and incredible abilities and knowledge. Maybe they are redoing the universe. Something we will, humans will do in the future, I have no doubts. I wanted to tell you about this phenomenon and I hope to bring you more. And if you can support my research, you'll find description um, of how to do it um, in the description of this video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, tell others about it. And uh, thank you and be safe.